as you know from the e-course, we uh, we have balanced archetypes, but we can also be a little bit deficient, which makes us defensive, mm. um, and we can be excessive, which can make us uh, overcompensating in the base chakra. So when we're deficient, we experience a heightened sense of fear, anxiety, even restlessness, and we can lack discipline and a connection to the earth. We have trouble manifesting abundance, usually because of a poverty mindset. Has this ever come up for you at all, and how did you overcome it? It came up for me a lot. It has come up for me quite over and over because I suppose it is from those grassroots of how you mm. how you grew up. As I said, lots of lots of love, had things, but never you know always saw the, the a bit of the poverty mentality around. And um, yeah, I just I basically I, I knew there was better, and I'd seen people being successful, mm -hmm. and I wanted to see the ones that were successful in a grounded kind of way mm -hmm. rather than going for success that was just. Woo -woo. to be someone or, or yeah exactly and I think that the way I mean I know the way that I deal with it from day to day now is to stay connected with myself mm -hmm. when I do the seven steps to a healthier you I mean three four of the seven steps are all about sort of self-love being in nature meditating um, the mindset and that all comes back to when I I can feel when I'm getting disconnected mm -hmm. only because I've spent so much time on being aware of when I'm connected and disconnected and if mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel that fear mm -hmm. because real, realistically you always sort of get by in good ways. I mean, if you trust things will come in that you didn't expect, be it money, be it um, like a material or, or whatever it is that you need for that time. I mean, yeah, you just have to trust because mm -hmm. it's that, that is the only way. And the only way to trust in my, the only way I can trust is by regularly taking time in, in, quiet or in meditation or listening to things that inspire me and just get me going mm. uh, without that I, I really I don't have this balanced mm. if you took that all away from me and, and made me just do 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 mm -hmm. you'd find a monster yes like I'm so I would glad find you said me that. as a monster yeah you know, honestly it's true because yep. sometimes I find myself drifting and I go Whoosh, like yes straight I've got to go straight back to it because yes. without that connection I'm I'm not this person and I Someone can't asked me the same thing. Else. Yes. Yeah. Someone asked me the same thing the other day, and I'm so glad you said that I can't be of service to somebody else when I'm not functioning properly. Mm. Because they said, what makes you get on your yoga mat every day? And I said, oh, just, just knowing what I'm like if I don't do it. That is yes. enough of an incentive for me to get on. Even, and if I don't feel like it, even rolling out the mat, it'll make me think, oh, well, it's rolled out now. I may as well just do a couple of sun salutations. And it inevitably turns into more. But even if it doesn't and I sit and I meditate, I've done it. And but it's it means the things that, that make you do the best self. Like you know that that mm. makes you your best self. And mm. even, even with myself, that's why I rarely drink because I know that when I don't, it makes me a, a better me to, mm. to serve people in a better way because I, mm. I don't have time for hangovers and for feeling slow and for... Cranky. Just cranky. Oh, I don't have time for that. I really mm. don't, especially... I feel I have so much to achieve in this life, even if it's just by walking down the street and smiling. I don't want to waste a day that I'm hung over that I can walk down the street and not smile at someone. Mm, hallelujah. Amen to you. It's, yep. it's so true. Like it, yes. that is fulfilling. And I mean, when I say this, you know, rich or, you know, thinking wealth or whatever it is now, the true wealth to me is feeling wealth and fulfillment in my spirit. I mean, mm. it doesn't, those things will come and I, you know, you'll yes. probably because money that, is yeah. not the only currency that we trade, is it? Not, not at all. But it is, it's a great one to trade in, mm -hmm. as long, such as long as you're coming at, at life from a grounded, connected point of view. Because I know yes. a lot of people with a lot of money who are very unhappy. Yes. Very unhappy. Likewise. And, and society with, you know, this is a, a passion of mine. It kind of annoys and puts people off a bit, perhaps, if, if they're not resonating with it. When it comes to, say, drugs or abuse of alcohol, that is from a disconnection of self. I don't care what anyone says. It and is. That's, and that's why something, you know, balancing your chakras or just being attuned to it and focused on something that's about you and mm -hmm. fulfilling yourself and your need and your self-love and putting yourself first actually aligns you and makes you more fulfilled. Then you realize that you're valuing yourself and you don't need those things to yes. give you a sense of worth or a sense of anything. Because what you you've just described as well is the excessive archetype. It's when we're prone to that materialism or that greed, mm. the addictions, hoarding even, um, materialism that comes up in uh, the base chakra, the predisposition to be a workaholic. Uh, you know, all of that is overcompensating. Mm. Do well, these qualities I, I, show up at all and how do you deal with them? Not necessarily with just yourself or in life in general. No, I, I think that um, the excessive one used to, I guess, would come up a lot because that went from 
say perhaps not having that much growing. I still like I worked at Burger King and actually had some sort of money. But when mm-hmm. I got the job at Audi for making decent money, having awesome cars, it kind of put yep. me into I've gone from not having much to having this sort of almost excessive. So right. at that point, and was, that was your I first kind of, job after uni, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my first job after uni. So then I wanted to, this was excessive. You know, I was driving this certain car and I could have any of them. And I was annoyed that I wasn't getting given the more expensive one to drive home at night. I'm thinking, I mean, now I look back, I was 23 years old and I was driving an Audi TT, but I wanted this one or that one is, it's crazy. But I think that that to sort of compensate for the not now I did, yep. it's like I wanted the best, yep. but it wasn't coming from a, a grounded point of view. And I think that that's when the excessive, and then in the same sentence, I was working ridiculous hours, 80, mm. 90 hours to try to prove myself, mm. which is not, now I realize is not necessary. That's mm. why I take so much more downtime. I be myself. I don't need to prove myself because right. who I am is worthy enough. Yes. Um, but trying to just do all these ridiculous hours and, and not even ask for more for it, mm. not even ask my worth for it, but yet somehow feel like I had to just, you know, be, be excessive to gain mm. more, more material mm. or more whatever it was. So mm. yeah, that would, that would been when I was, I don't have, I, I would more so if anything, I'll, I go on the, what's the other one? Not, not the excessive, the, the deficient, deficient. I'm more so probably revert to deficient mm-hmm. because I come from perhaps the, mm-hmm. the other scale. So that's my mm. automatic. If I'm going to revert, I rarely go the other way, but now if I'm reverting, I'll go there and then sort of bring my thermostat back. And I like that you said that because we do oscillate. We're only as yes. balanced as our last trigger. And often we go to the other extreme, whether it's a, a habit that we have within ourselves or a type of relationship that we attract. We tend to go to the other extreme before we come back into the middle. That, That's very that, common. Yeah. That does make sense. And I actually see that in people as well when yeah. they're trying to work themselves out. But it's like we are saying before the editing, you almost have to feel it mm-hmm. to know, wow, that you know, I knew that didn't feel good before. And now that I'm back there, I really don't like that. So it sort of gets you back. But because when you know better, you do better. Yeah, exactly. And then you don't go that far back. Mm. Now, now I just sort of just instead of yes, the bounce back is a lot quicker now, such as long as I, I think I know my connection to self is so important that as soon as I feel that I just go right back in there and don't let it happen long enough to yeah, and living by the beach in Sydney, it's oh. that constant connection to nature will bring you back. It will ground you. And I think that it's so important. 